You ever get any African pompano coming up on this? No, uh -uh. but we never fish it with Dean, so I don't know, but I doubt it. There he is, there fish he is. Fish on, brother, fish on. That's a fatty boy. See that rod bend over? <laughs> Welcome back, he's still running. I think he just realized he was hooked. Oh, man. You have no control. <laughs> this guy was just sitting back there. Right. Dead tide, fixing to try to cast out and get a mangrove snapper or two, and whoa, wow. This guy really hasn't done a real big scream and run yet. No, he had that big arc, but he's out there on top. He may have the school with him. Ugh. Man, y'all get a chance to do this. We're gonna throw Kenny's number up, give it a shot. My arm's already sore. What's the run this guy does right when he gets up to the boat? He's gonna say, hmm, what was leading me around? Mm -hmm. Looks like a good fish. Like I said, some of them are sneaky. Yeah, I thought he was maybe giving up a little bit. <laughs> Not. No such word. Tell you what I like to see, Kenny, is down there in Naples, off the wrecks, and I guess about anywhere up and down the, the west coast here in the Gulf. Is this time of year that all these permit get out here? Or? Uh, yeah, they actually show up about the time the kingfish leave. Okay. They show up. You'll see them in the end of kingfish. So not any really good good time prediction in the uh, during the year. It's just whenever the kingfish show up and leave, they show up after those guys. Right. Um, usually around March. And, and on into August. We'll be fishing them real close uh, inshore in August. Yeah. And uh, you'll have some real big fish in some shallow water. You just, you gotta be real quiet and real careful in what you do. Fish get run over so much. Oh, that's a good fish. I you just see? saw him flash right there. And he looks like a nice fish. Is he a pretty good one? <laughs> oh yeah. He's right below the boat here. You about ready? Getting close, oh, he's going back out again. Look at that, is that beautiful or what? I hope so. They're nice. going to get a lot bigger than that. They're going to get bigger? Yes, sir. Nice one up there. Nice fish. Very nice. <laughs> nice permit. Oh, yeah. That is nice. That's gorgeous. You can't get a hook getting back in the water. All right. Uh, All right, let's get that hook out of there. Come here, baby. They got such soft mouths. Those there lips bleed a little bit. Yeah. Let's see them one time here. Yeah. Do you just chunk them right back straight down? I try to drop them nose first so they get down to that cooler water. Let's get him back right here and shoot him straight down. There you go, and off he goes. Nice, man. Yeah, that was pretty awesome. Nice, man. nice. All we're doing here, we got up current of the up current of the wreck, and we're just floating crabs back. We're not chumming or anything. But I tell you what, we're gonna float another crab back, and we're gonna see if we can do it again. Nice fish, bro. Sweet. Nice spot, huh? Petey the pelican. Pelican, pelican, the beak holds more than the belly can. There he is, there he is. You got one too. The herd, huh? This guy's coming right to me. Yeah. Oh, baby. These ain't the big ones, but they're nice ones. And just then they showed up. <laughs> oh, oh Jewfish? Oh, Jewfish get him? I guess. Holy cow. Oh. Did you see him hit that? They whacked it. <laughs> well, you said there was some big Jewfish down here. He just got whacked by a big Jewfish. Excuse me, I was Goliath fish. And I got the big permit on here. That was a nice <sighs> permit I had too. He was diving down. <sighs> They must have all showed up at once. Oh huh? yeah, when those guys crank their engines. Spooked uh -oh, him right uh -oh. over here. He's after you, isn't he? Maybe something was just then, I don't know. I hope not, this feels like a nice permit. Oh, man, this guy's big. Feel like a good one. Yeah, it does, feels way. like a real good one. Yeah? Uh-oh. Don't want to grab that Power Pro too much. <laughs> Boy, it'll get you, won't it? It's got to be one of the nicest fishes I had on one of these uh, EXT rods. Is that the EXT? Yeah. Yeah, that's a sharp rod. Uh, 
Makes a good tarpon stick, too. <laughs> I can't wait to have a poon peel something out on it. I can't wait to see what this trash can lid looks like. Whew. Feel like a real good one, Blair. Oh, yeah, it feels like a real good one. Golly. You seem like you're pretty tied up. You mind if I deploy the crab? Well, go for it. <laughs> I think we're going to have our hands full with this guy when we get him up next to the boat. Look at all the candy. I haven't even seen any color yet. Oh, let me go straight down to where that Jewfish is living. Come on back up, man. I imagine that Jewfish got a mouthful. <laughs> Over the last one. How many's down there, do you think? You know, I haven't been down, but I imagine there's quite a few of them. Ooh. He's right in the neighborhood where yours just got eaten. Oh, yeah. Looks like the wreck changed color a little bit. I wonder if that's all fish. I thought those ones down south pulled. Tell you what, there's some color way yeah, down there. Yeah, there it is, way down there. Good fish. That is a nice fish. That's a hog. Uh, well, the doormat. This guy's big. This is definitely my biggest permit, I think. St. Augustine doormat. Come on, Brad. Right oh, man, you're making me swap size and everything. This guy's all breaking a sweat out of me here. Mm. Come on, guy. I can't hear these guys in here right now spawning too. I imagine so. Mostly, we just we have so many crabs that they're just here eating the crabs. Look at that beautiful green color down there. It is. Look at him. He's not happy. <sighs> Thumped me and dropped me. Woo! Look at him glowing down there. Like a garbage can lid trying to get him up. Hold on, I'll circle him right around to you. Sounds good. What pretty fish, Blair. Oh, gorgeous. Those things are great. Yeah, baby! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> now that is a permit. Man, it's a heavy fish. Hey, there's a pair of explorers right up there on the yeah, top. I gotcha. Here's one, I think that'll do it. Let me lay this head down here. We got a circle hook, perfect. Right in him, isn't it? Yeah, go ahead and grab it and give it a yank. There we go. Man, that's nice. Beauty permit. These things float, huh? <clears throat> yeah, man, they're nice. Permit, brother. Oh, a little ways off of Tampa Bay. Y'all stay tuned, we'll be right back with some more addictive fishing. Oh, fish on, buddy. Oh, got me. <laughs> permit, permit, where art thou? Permit. These divers probably got them messed up a little bit. They'll settle down. I'm gonna get zapped on the big crab. Hopefully. Oh, Blair, that's them right there. Big old herd, right here. Look at the big black cloud. Well, welcome back. Tide's just starting to change. The wreck out here is coming to life. The barracuda's starting to come up to the top and float and show, waiting for the permit to get stacked up behind the boat so we can just float them crabs back to them and hang on to them rods. But uh, in the meantime, I'm gonna stay up here and check things out. At, at the first sound of a drag screaming, I'm heading down to the battle. Hey, check out that cuda just prowling in the grass. Pretty cool, just waiting for something to come out and snatch him up. It's definitely the stealth. Here you go. There's some drag screaming. <laughs> Time to go watch him get whooped. Bish on, buddy. <laughs> Hurry up. Oh my God. Oh God. Oh. How's that for action? I think this might be one of them 40 pounders. Yeah. Feels like that 250 pound shark I had on. It's a big usually, fish, Blair. Usually say you can fight a, fight a fish standing still in a boat, but I've never fought a fish from the front of this new Ranger before, so. Uh. Like. Nice and stable, I tell you that. It is rock solid, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Handles the chop great. Yeah, it does. You came right up and ate that off the surface. I never even saw him hit. I was up there looking. That cork probably slid up the line a little bit. <laughs> nice fish. Look at the think, cutest coming in. You think this is a grown one? What's that? This one right here. This permit. How big? You think it's a grown one? I, th I do think he's grown by the way that drag was singing. Mm, that's a nice one. Yeah. I'd say that's a grown one. They get bigger. 
They get bigger? Yes, sir. That's a nice fish. Yeah, it's a beauty. There he is. There he comes. Nice fish. Oh, I don't know how red he is. Hold that little tail. Oh! Don't you love it when they beat you like that? Oh, Look yeah. at the purple in him. I love it when they beat you like that. That one, man. That, baby. Oh, that's something. a good one. Look at the purple in him. Where are those explorers? Uh, somewhere up there. There they are on the... Uh, looks like he's swallowed. Nope, there it is. Right in the corner where it should be. But you need it. Yeah, and this goes a lot easier to roll out with a pair of pliers. Yeah, look at that. that. All right. Might be switching. Man, look at that purple. That's a gorgeous <clears throat> fish, huh? That is awesome. Uh, he's a man God, already. Right. heavy. Yeah. That is a heavy fish. Nice. Nice. Time for another. Look at that. Disappears. There he goes. Fish on. Can, uh oh. Another one? Yeah. Go ahead and try that. Go ahead and try that rod. <laughs> <laughs> you're hey, the just, one in charge. <laughs> no, nah, nah, go, brother. Yeah, you're the lucky one to pick that stick up. How come you get the big ones? I get all the 10 pounders. <laughs> there he is. I can Couldn't see tell you, brother. Couldn't tell you. Pretty little fish. Is it a small one? Yeah, he's not small, but. He's not as grown as yours was. How far were you up? Put it right at the top of the bimini twist. What do you think they're eating better, these pass crabs or the blues? I think they're eating the pass crabs. This was a little smaller pass crab. I think that's why we got the smaller fish. Oh, he ain't no slouch. Anybody be glad to have him? Oh, I think I can get him. Nice fish. Nice. Are they all hooked like that? Every one of them with them eagle claws, man, right in the corner every single time so far today. I think even if they swallow that crab all the way down, when you when they swim away with it, as long as you don't jerk and miss them, every time that pressure gets them right in the corner of the mouth every time. Right. Awesome, ain't it? Awesome. See you, buddy. Awesome, bro. Yeah, man. Awesome. Get another. That's awesome. Hey. Give this a shot. We're out here and just, I mean, you saw it. It was like, bam, we, I was just fixing to, you know, say something about the permit and bam, the other rod went off. So it's like one right after the other, after the other, after the other. It's a ball. I mean, I'm sweating. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this guy was a sleeper. Yeah. <laughs> Good way to tell if they're alive or not. I think pinch their eyes and their other eye will always kick back in. Really? Remember that one. Watch this, fellas. Blair, I've always just waited till they bite the heck out of me. to tell if they're alive. Right. Oh, yeah. Oop, there he is, Blair. Bumping it. There Give he me. is. Give me. Oh, Kenny went and grabbed the captain's <laughs> rod. Now he's going to fight one. I got a little one. <laughs> you want it? You you're, want it? You're all over it. I uh, thought it sounds like a one. It sounds like a little one. Man, this rod's got great action, huh? It's not a wreck, is he? No, uh, I think this is one of the smaller ones. He looks real small. Snake the captain's <laughs> rod, huh? Yeah, but look what happens when you snake the captain's rod. You catch small ones. Right. Yeah, he's a little 10-pounder. I can see him down there. Yeah, he's, he's about a 10-pounder. <laughs> yeah, those little 10-pounders are the tasty size. We're yeah. gonna let these go though. Yeah, you don't need to kill those big ones. That's that's your stock for the next few years, you know. You about ready? Yeah, he's getting there. All right. This is just like a great big old, Ugh, great pumping. big old, great big old pumping out. Yeah, he is. <laughs> pumping out on steroids right there. I can see him with cheese all over him right now. <laughs> I wonder if old Dot's goofy jigs would work on these things. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you've used yeah. them before? Yeah, when they get schooled up, you can tip them or don't tip them. Ah, there you go. That's a nice right fish. Right on the deck. Look at that. He's had a little remorse. A little on. tiny remorse. Check that out. Oh, come here, fish. Roll that circle on that over there. Yes, sir. Those eagle claws are great. Good stout hook, huh? Good one. Nice permit. It's starting to turn into a pretty day. Yes, it is. We have been ravaged by the weather lately and seeing this guy right here. Wow. That's pretty fish. So I, I couldn't be the only one that gets wrecked today. Right? 
Let's see if you can get a hold of one of them 40 pounders. Then we're gonna go catch some poons. Yes, sir. All right. Yeah, aren't you glad you tuned in today? <laughs> hey, did you just come up from diving or what? Yeah, is there something on my lip? Looks like a little remora. Well, it looks like the permit bite has just about tapered off, Kenny. Yeah, I think they might have moved to another place. You think we can go jump a poon? Well, we can do it. All right, let's go. Sounds Y'all stay tuned. We'll be right back, hopefully with some poon action. Oh. Nature's fixing to lower the boom. Well, as you can see, we kind of changed tactics a little bit. We're doing a couple drifts through the pass here. We're gonna see if we can jump a tarpon. If not, as you can see, Mother Nature is about to hammer down on us. So we're gonna try to jump a tarpon. If we don't get one, we're gonna close the show here because Mother Nature is fixing to drop the hammer on us. <laughs> Man, that looks wicked. Pretty dark, huh? Yes, it is. <laughs> yes, it is. Well, I want to take a minute and do the bait check again for you. We're using the little tiny pass crabs. We're lucky enough that Kenny went out last night and he picked up a bunch of them, so we're all stocked for bait. We're using a five aught eagle claw circle hook, hooking them right in the corner of the mouth every time you're seeing that. EXT Cape Fear rod, and we're using the Fenor, the real light one, it's the number 12. Rigged up with 20 pound Power Pro, about a foot, foot and a half, uh, what, 40 pound fluorocarbon leader and it's getting the job done. And all we're doing is basically getting up of this wreck, and they're all up and down the west coast in the gulf. But we're getting up above the wreck and just drifting the crabs back to them. Simple as that. Whoa. That's your bait check for today. Hope you liked it. Well, Kenny, Mother Nature's fixing to leave her calling card by putting a bunch of sparks down. So uh, let's wind them up. I don't Sounds need a good. nickname of Sparky, and I don't think you do either. <laughs> I don't like them. I had a ball catching those permits. Y'all ever want to do this, make sure you give Kenny a call. Here's his number right here. Don't forget about the website, addictedfishing.com. You can watch a clip of the show on there on the website, and you can get in touch with him through there. So uh, until next week, see ya! Get that door somewhere. What a beast. Now that, brother! is a Morgan. <laughs> <laughs>